Welcome back. In this video, I will create REST API using Node.js, Express and MongoDB. Firstly, I need to create a Node.js project using npm init. Mention the project name. I leave rest of them blank. Then install BigCrypt, Express, Config, Joy and Mongoose. Here I'm using Mongoose to create model for the database and connect with the MongoDB database. Then installing NodeMon as dev dependency. Our all dependencies are installed. Now add script. With start script, application will run with node. With the start dev script, application will run with the nodemon. This will reload our application on every changes. Let's create few directories for our project. First config, models, services, controls, and utils. Utils will store our database connection function and config will contain our application default configuration. Inside module export at port 8000 database URI and encryption salt. Get the database URI from MongoDB Atlas. Here I already created a database. Now click on the connect button. In IP address at 0, .0, 0.0.0.0 to access the database from any location. For the database security, you can change only with your server IP address. Get the connection string from the driver and paste it inside DB URI and change the password field with the database password. You can also mention the database name before the query parameters of the connection string. Now come to the dbutil files and get the config and mongoose dependency inside constants. Then create an object where I will mention the server selection timeout, socket timeout, and number of active connection. Then create a connection function with try catch. If it is catches any error, process will exist. Inside try get the database URI from the default configuration. And check if the connection is in ready state. If not, then connect the database with the mongoose connect method and pass the database URI an option. If the connection already exists, just show the connection exists in the console log. Finally, export this function with module exports. Next, create our entry point for the application. Here I am importing config and express. First, get the port from the default configuration. Then call the express in an app constants. 
Now call the express listen method by passing environment default port. Inside the callback function shows the server's running log in the console. Next, call our MongoDB connection function from dbutils. Let's run the application with start dev. Here we have our application running on 8000 port and database connected successfully. Let's create our database user model. Here we required mongoose and config packages. Then create a user schema instance from the mongoose schema. Here we need a full name, email and password fields. Email will be unique. And adding a timestamp to store when the record is created and updated. Now pass this schema to the mongoose model with the document name and export it. Before saving the data, we will encrypt the password with bcrypt. For that, I need a callback function inside the pre method of the schema. First, get all the data inside user object and check if the password field is modified or not. Then generate a salt using bcrypt gen salt method by passing our salt value. After that, generate the hash using hashing method by passing password and salt value. Finally, store the value inside password field and return the next. Our password encryption is done. Next, we need to compare the password with the hash for the user authentication. Here, I'm creating a schema method as compare password with user pass parameter. Then get the saved data in the user object and compare with the bcrypt compare method. If the password does not match, return false. Next, creating the user services. Here I'm creating a create user function. Inside try catch, I'm calling the user model and passing the value to create a record. 
To return the record without the password field, here I'm using omit from the load as package. But first we need to install the load as package. Then create a check mail function to check if the email address exists or not. Next validate user function to authenticate the user. First get the record by matching mail. Then match the password by calling compare password method of the schema. If all goods, return data without the password field. Now export all three functions using module exports. Next create a user controller. First create user handler. Here I'm using express 3 default parameter. Inside try catch first check if the email exists or not using check mail service function. Then store the data using create user function. And finally respond to the request with 202 status. And a confirm message with user data. If the email address already exists, return with 410 status and error message. To understand all the HTTP status code and their purpose, you can check our article in the description below. Then creating the logging user handler. Here I'm calling the validate user function by passing user data. If not match written with 401 status and error message. Otherwise written with 
200 status and success message with user ID and name. Finally, exporting both handlers. Next, we need to create middleware to validate all the resources. Here I'm creating a validate resource function by passing schema parameter. It also has a callback function with default express parameters. First creating options to not abroad early. Allow unknown and stripe unknown. Inside try catch, validate the request body, query, and parameters using valid async method. Next, create a user schema for register and logging data. First, import joy package. Then, create a joy object as create user schema by mentioning the required fields and types. For the confirm password, it must be matched with the password value. Next, the logging user schema with email and password field. Finally, export both of them. Next, create the user route to receive the requests. First, I am creating user route function with app parameter. Next, create a post request with user route. Then call the valid resources middleware by passing create user schema. And then create user handler. Similarly creating user logging post request route. and export this function. In our application entry point, we call the user route function by passing express app object. Let's run the application. 
it worked without any error. Next, we need to set the header to allow origin and headers. and show all the requests with timestamp in the console log. Also mention the accepted methods. Next, we need to handle the default errors. And the most important part, all query will be in JSON format and mention URL encoded size limit and extensions. Finally run our application and test with Postman. Let's create the user first. If we call the route without data, it throws error like this. With the data but mismatch password, it also return an error. Our server-side validation worked perfectly. With the valid data, here is the result. Let's check in our database. Here our password is totally encrypted. Now call the logging route. Here we go. Thanks for watching. Please like and share and let me know your opinion in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe.